Hello from Chinesia.com, this is Mark Josie and uh, long time no see everyone. <laughs> um, yes, for, for a month or so we were so busy with work with Chi Nature and so uh, there's no video uh, made and so today finally thank you for um, a few fans uh, on our Twitter and also um, on private uh, talking about oh where you guys been like <laughs> like something's wrong something like that how come no video so today we um, squished in this little magical session today <laughs> to make this video and um, this video I'm going to do a gun review uh, it's a new topic because we haven't done uh, airsoft guns review uh, I think so for this channel so this should be the first airsoft review official ones today I'm going to review the uh, ANK brand uh, PKM machine gun machine gun take a look it's a beastie gun as beastie as I am and of course there's the upgraded wood furniture and the whole thing weighs about 15 pounds just without the ammo and all the, all the uh, stuff just the gun itself weighs about 15 pounds it's very heavy fully made of metal and it's an uh, electric gun AEG okay now let me take a magnet 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 and then you can test that it stick on the bipod the bipod actually uh, mount on the gun uh, here itself you cannot take it off unless you uh, punch out two pins so this is uh, steel and the barrel the outer barrel here is not should be some kind of alloy the body is steel the whole body here is steel <coughs> let's try see the handle is kind of movable and it's supposed to be like that so you can pick it up like so and then you can see the other part here on the body also steel okay, even the screws here right here steel okay and here at the back okay, let me show you here at the back this is a uh, something like that you can pick out and it's supposed to be a shoulder su support snap okay and the good thing is this gun does not have any rails for mounting any optics so it made my life simple you can run uh, you can shoot the gun without buying any more uh, accessories than the gun itself and today I'm going to shoot with Elite Force um, 0 0.25 gram BBs okay so the mag the mag here is the box a box mag and this thing is also steel look at that see it's also steel and the good thing is the mag it's auto uh, windings there's a button here below that, that you uh, click and then while you shoot it just auto turn the motor on and it will feed so there's no um, turning or winding the springs and stuff and uh, we're going to use 9.6 volt battery and here inside the compartment it holds 5,000 BBs take a look it holds 5,000 BBs how many BBs is 5,000 BBs that's one bottle okay I emptied the whole bottle into this thing it's crazy and here in the uh, compartment little compartment you can store your battery so we put the 9.6 uh, battery inside like so and there's also another black cable that sticked on to the um, other side for powering up the motor so it will feed the uh, gun automatically so now we uh, close the gun up I mean close this thing up just a sec okay find a hole here And then here there's a button 
thingy. You point this way, put it down, and lock it up. Okay, you lock it up. Now, the thing is very secure. See? Okay. Just this thing itself is heavy enough for a workout. Now here you see there's a bullet diagram here. This is where you open this thing. You see, you open it like so. And then you shove the battery in. You can also use a nunchuck battery, but today we're not gonna use that. That's my backup for today. Okay, now the cool thing about this uh, gun is that there are dummy bullets that you can buy. It's aftermarket stuff, but it's really realistic. And you can also pick out the bullet like that. You can pick out the bullet. It's not real, don't, don't worry. And you can also twist the head off for photography usage. So you can put it down like that, and it looks like real bullet, but it's fake. See, no gunpowder inside, okay? For decoration use. And the good thing is, you can also link up as many chains as you want. This is one chain, and you can also link up like two or three or four or something like that, as many as you like. And you can still have a long, long chain of bullet. Now, let's put this thing in first. And also, you see, we have some grenades here that I'm going to use to finish up the target for today. Finish up the target. Okay. Mm. Okay, now that makes you curious. Now let's, let me take you to uh, the other side of the gun. How to load this thing. Okay, here there are some grooves. Okay, and you just need to find that magical spot here where it, it uh, holds on to that little thingy. And okay, I can't do it like that. Just a second. Reverse. There we go. Slide. Now, yeah. Okay, it's secure. Now let me turn the gun over and show you the other side. Okay. This side is where the bullet, the fake bullet, is supposed to go. Now, with the box mag in place, it's super heavy. You don't want to use the gun just by holding it up. Here, uh, right here at the back, you lift it up, and there goes the inside compartment. It's very realistic. You take the bullet, put it in here, just to make it nice and real looking, and then you put the thing back in, like so. Now you find the magical spot here, and you put it in, like this. See, now it looks like a real gun with the bullet outside right look very realistic and the good thing is this thing acts as a um, something to cover up the cords so we have the cords here see from the gun so you connect that to the uh, battery like so and the black thingy like so okay almost done Okay, done. Now, you can hide this cord behind. It just takes some time to fiddle around, but at least it's something to cover it up, okay? This gun only shoot in uh, safe mode and in uh, full auto. There's no semi-auto. And again, this is very, very heavy. It shoots about 500 FPS, just almost breached the law limit. But don't worry, guys. You know what? Uh, Canadian gun law say that the gun needs to shoot uh, at 500 FPS and over 4.2 foot pound energy. So you, if you're shooting like super light pellet and it shoots over 1000 FPS, it won't matter. You won't, you won't break any laws, okay? So just keep that in mind. It needs to be over 4.2 foot pound. Now, today we're gonna shoot that airsoft gel trap target. Look over there, see? We got a gel trap target that I want to demolish today. So let's try and demolish it together. First, take a look at my gun here. Okay, here is the safety, right here. Okay, 
it should be on safe like that and when you go here it should be unsafe now shoulder thingy okay aim let's see how this gun does do today okay oh i'm on safe now okay there we go pointing forward looking at the target There's no bullet coming out. Uh, okay, forgot to. There we go. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, you hear the mag is auto winding? It's auto winding. Can you hear the mag? It's auto winding again. Okay. Now let's put the gun at rest for a while. And today we got a special guest. The WG brand PDW. Okay. Gas blowback. For auto, let's go. Okay. Grenade time. Grenade time. Let's try the uh, GNT brand grenade. See if that works. Should. But it can be not working. Yeah, as expected. Remember, guys, the uh, GNT brand grenades doesn't work with this thing. So we're gonna shoot it with another device. The mad bulb. Soft foam target. Okay. Shove the thing in first for a grip. Let's go. Doesn't work so great. So we'll take the other grenade launcher. Just a minute. The other grenade launcher here. No worry. We also. We always have ways to execute that thing. Okay, let's go. Ew. Second one. Bad aim, eh? <laughs> Hit the second one. Okay, let's try again. Oh, smoky. Okay, so now one more. Special guest coming in today. Okay, we need to execute this thing. So we got the King's Arm P90 with a box mag upgrade, 1,800 uh, rounds, auto feeding. Okay, do some winding first. And uh, this gun is heavy, shoots in full auto, and it's now using a extended butt ass. And you see, special battery. Mm. 9.6 volt and shove it in here okay hollow sight let's go oh, look at that Okay, I'm gonna put the gun at rest for a while. Okay. Now, let's go and take a look at the target. We'll see what happened. Whoa, shit. I mean, whoa. <laughs> okay, guys. Airsoft gel target. Nuked. 
Cheese! Look at that. Ooh. Okay, now, this is my gift for you all for this, what, Black Friday thingy? <laughs> okay, cheese! Okay. Proven that gel target is not for these kind of airsoft. Anyway, so, you see? Executed. Oh, it's still white inside. Oh, it's foam! It's not paper here. This is soft foam. Cool. Okay, guys, this is soft foam. It's not paper. If you look over here, the other side. Wow. Okay, guys, you know what? Let me do a test to let you see what happened with some airsoft grenade. Just a second. Okay, guys, GMP grenade. We got King's Arm Green Gas. Whoops. Ah, that's bad. Reset. Okay. I'm going to show you the danger of these grenades. Just a minute. Let me get some spare shells. You can buy spare shells of these for these grenades. Okay? In case you lost the shells, that's what you need. So today I'm going to use the spares, it's new, and shoot, we don't have a knife. Just maybe you guys missed it, cold steel tea light, okay, wow, nice packaging, it's not opening, okay, there we go, careful, it's sharp. So it comes with nine, and I'm going to use one just for you guys. Okay, there we go. Remember, GMP grenade doesn't work with the uh, Echo ones M203 uh, grenade launcher. So we're going to use this one. Come over. Okay, execution time. Let's look at that. It cracked. <laughs> okay, you want to see that again? Come on, let's see it again. Okay, we're gonna kill this thing. We have to kill this thing. So let's go. Set it off. Reset one more time. Uh, let's charge it up more. Okay, charge it up more. Eight seconds, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is going to be crazy blasting. Okay, we use the show. Let's go. My plan, you know what my plan is? To JB well here to make it harder so it can hit hard target. Okay, show you again. Here. Ooh, let's go. Okay, execution time. Zoom in the target and take a look and we'll end the video here. It shot here, I think, right? Something like this. And it actually cracked the thing. You see? It cracked. And impressively nuked it. Boop. There we go. Wow. Hey, there's BBs inside. It actually did trap the BBs. You know where, what these BBs that stick inside? I shot it from the front eh, and it ran into the gel and into the foam and then it stuck inside. So now we can see it. You see the inside of the BBs is sticked, sticked here. See? Let, let me break this thing and you can see it. There we go. You see all the BBs? It's shot from the front and it's now sticking here. You have to really pick it out. See? You have to pick it out from the other side. Very crazy, eh? Sometimes airsoft guns are pretty badass that you really need to be careful when you play with it. 
So remember guys, when you play with airsoft, shoot safe, and especially when you got crazy air guns like the uh, MP7, stuff like that, with the extension barrel, it shoots very hard. So you need to be very careful. Anyway, so you see a lot of new guns today, a lot of cool airsoft coming up. And don't forget to um, comment below, give me support. <sighs> yeah, so eventually I have the energy and time to make a nice big video to showcase these uh, airsoft guns, the air guns and stuff like that in December. So everyone, thank you again. Thank you for your support. And remember to comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends to stay tuned for the December big video. And we will showcase all the guns and maybe even blades. Enjoy. Bye-bye.